Oh. We had two weeks off. And my boy sitting beside me thought it was a good idea to fall in love. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh whatever. <laughs> Part one of girls that I would never talk to my mum again to get with. Just little things you can do to get better habits. And they've been really cool so far. But one of the things that really like just has been stuck in my head. Welcome back to another episode of The Relatables. Yo, yo, yo. You're here with Jake and Otty and we're ready to chat. Ready to, yeah, chat. It's been, it's, we used to do two episodes a week. Now it's one. Yeah, it's one. I kind of feel like it's like, um, I don't know. It feels like it's been a while. It has been a while. But I apologize if we start to sweat midway through because it oh, is hot bro, it's so in our crazy. studio. In our, uh, it is a studio. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This is a massive room. For the air, um, audio listeners, I just air quoted because you can't see what's on the other side <laughs> of the camera. And we're going to keep it that way. <laughs> no one's ever going to see that, eh? Yeah, no, never, ever. never, never. Unless never. we have a guest, unfortunately. But, but to kick things off, Jake, I got a little bone to pick. Oh. And it's sort of, we talked about it like in a preseason a little bit. Mm. And it's the fact that it's kind of funny, actually, what happened last night. Um, okay. We all, we've talked about it before. We always have to get up and go take a piss at the middle of the night, yeah. right? And because your boy takes creatine, and what's yeah. creatine do? It holds water. It holds water. So unfortunately, I rarely make it through a night without having to go take a piss. Okay, okay. Actually, I've I've been not pissing, but last night I did. Yes, and this is where the problem arises, Jake. <laughs> oh shit! Because okay. I'm I knew I went to bed last after you. Oh, okay. So I was just I wasn't really processing anything. And when I go take a piss, mm-hmm. I don't turn the lights on or anything. I stumble my way into the bathroom while it's still dark because I don't want to wake myself up. Okay, okay, okay. And last night, I went to go um, take a piss, mm-hmm. and I can't see the to- like the nest. I just can see the t- array array of the toilet, but I can't actually see it. Oh, okay. And I piss in the water and I hear the sound and I know I'm hitting it. Oh, okay. I think I know where this is going. So, last night, I see the toilet bowl. I don't. I can't see the water necessarily, but I know I hit it when I hear the sound. Yeah. But instead of the sound of the water being like like the sound of water dripping, I hit the fucking top of the toilet seat because you closed the toilet seat on me and I pissed everywhere. And I was like, fuck me. Because you closed oh, the toilet seat on me. And I was like, I no. I don't even remember closing the toilet seat. Because you never... But, like, you, But it's just something I do because I saw one day that every time you flush the toilet, like germ particles go in every direction they can go out of the toilet. They go two meters. Yeah. So, I've always closed the lid to flush it because I don't want germs to go everywhere. But I'm telling you, there's a lot more germs in there now after <laughs> me, me, me missing the toilet seat and I pissed everywhere and... Oh, right. and you know what I didn't? I'm like, I'm not turning the fucking light on. I just winged it and cleaned it up with the toilet. Um, oh, the so what, did you clean it again this morning? Yeah, but I was like, oh, I'm not, shit, I'm not doing this right now. That, I'm not doing this right now. I just stopped like mid piss, and I was like, fuck, Jake. Uh, uh, I was so off a day. Oh man, that's the funny thing is, is because I when I went for a piss, when I got back into bed, I heard you get up to go for a piss. So I fucking just missed it. So you literally by a minute missed yeah. it because I had just gotten back into bed, and I was like, and man, I was off a day. I was. <laughs> So off it. <laughs> oh man, see, because I, I thought I'd woken you up or something, and I was like, "Oh fuck it, he just needs some piss anyway, probably." But oh man, that's so funny. I can't believe <laughs> it used to have our toilet light. Remember the relatables? That's what I meant. We, we talked did. about it before. We bought a light so we can see when but we it, piss in the toilet. I think it just what happened to it. Actually, I think it got dropped in the toilet yeah. once, so the batteries kind of went on funky. We need to buy a new one. It was only ten bucks. We definitely didn't buy a new one after that because I could I really have seen. I wouldn't it. have seen the light, and I'm like, oh, I've got to open the toilet seat. Oh yeah, you would. Well, it would have shown, but it would have shown only out of the cracks of the toilet seat being closed mm. and so you would have been like oh shit I better open it I want to know if that's like the people is that relatable that people who go take a piss in the middle of the night don't turn any lights on and just stumble their way because my old house mm. it took me a while to get the surroundings of uh, stumbling my way yeah. into the bathroom but you night. got there I've got there now but yeah. now the toilet seat's down and I didn't account for that <laughs> So your brother never used to leave the toilet seat down. Nah, nah, nah. You guys are no, because we had our own bathroom in each level, so he would go to the middle one, and I'd oh the yeah, because your rooms were on separate levels, so you kind of had you were lucky, and at night you were the only one to use that. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Now I'm sharing with this selfish guy, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I'm just thinking like there's gonna be germs all over the fucking walls in the shower and shit. Oh yeah, you told me that. I was like, oh, that's, you're probably right, but I'm like, still, I don't care. And you know what? A couple of times I have gone to close it, but then left it open because you've actually said something before. Yeah. You've said, are you the one that leaves the toilet seat closed at night? And it's obviously me because you don't and there's only two of us using it. And so sometimes I will, but last night I must have just muscle memory did it. Yeah. 
That's funny. Well, you're probably half asleep too. Maybe yeah, I should. Yeah. Maybe I, I turn one of the lights on. You know how we have a light just so there's the main light in the toilet, then one that's above the mirror, yeah. and I turn that on because it takes about two minutes for it to get actually bright. Yeah, right. It's not that bright when you first turn it on. Maybe I should take the risk and sit down. <laughs> Trey, maybe you should start sitting down. <laughs> oh, yeah, the weirdest feeling in the world. Okay, at the gym at um at Platinum, um the toilet seats would not always stay up. Yeah, I know, yeah. And when I went to take a shit one time because pre-workout <laughs> makes you need to go. Yeah, yeah. And so, I needed to go and I like have my um, shorts tied up kind of tight. So, I was like, fuck, I was like scrambling in there. I lift the toilet up, scrambling, get my shorts untied so I can take my pants down. <laughs> and then I go to sit down and I just sat on a flat lid and it's the <laughs> sussest feeling ever. Wait, it's oh. so sus. Oh, like so, if you do it and, the, and I've closed the lid and you haven't seen it, it's just going to feel sus. It's like the just sussest the f- feeling ever. I've done the opposite thing at that gym. I've gone to go to take a shit and I haven't like processed the seat wasn't down. So, I've sat on the bare fucking toilets, like the bare oh. toilet. Oh, say, which yuck. is even worse because you, you, you lift two up to piss I've done that before and you, and you feel like you're about to sink in yeah you jump like you're about to squat and Ew. I was like oh shit it's so disgusting but I thought that was a little funny little story to start, yeah. the, start the episode off <laughs> sorry mate nah sorry. yeah no, it's not okay <laughs> but also a couple more points to hit before we jump into it oh shit okay we forgot to mention it last time <clears throat> we had two weeks off and my boy sitting beside me thought it was a good idea to fall in love. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh whatever. <laughs> oh, dear, jokes aside, he's not in love. Or well, who knows? He could be. But, <laughs> but he's been he's been going on dates with chicks. He's been cheating on me. I have been on three dates with a girl. Now. Oh, that's serious, mate. I know. It's when crazy. are you going to propose? I was thinking about the next date. Actually, we're going on this coming Sunday. Well, yeah. we got date number four. I didn't. I don't want to ask too many questions because that's your personal life, mate. But I thought we should address it because yeah, yeah, he's yeah. been busy. He's been he's been busy. I've been making time, and I got to drive a distance for it too. We both we both have to drive a distance. Should we say the situation and see like, or not? Do you, uh, you, I don't you're... really mind. I think it's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. I don't oh, think she would. Oh, tell what happened. How you met her? That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Okay, so. We were at um at Falls at the festival. It was the last act of the last night and we were like going to go to the bus and then we wanted to stop in at this little tent. It was a Jack Daniels tent. And um, we all we were like, yeah, look, we'll, we'll go there. We'll go there. There's a guy we want to see. And so we were in there and we were just like kind of in there with a couple of the boys just like dancing. And then I just like saw her and recognized her, mm. really recognized her. And I was like, shit, why the fuck? Why? Why do I recognize her? And then I, the reason I'd recognize her is because we follow each other on Instagram and I'd been seeing her stories, but kind of not, it hadn't clicked. And so when I, and then I went on my phone and was looking, I was like, oh shit, like, I think that's it. I wasn't even oh, 100% you sure. You found her on, on your phone when you were So I there. went on Instagram and I was like, why do I know her? I, f- I have a feeling I know her. I have a feeling I follow her or something. And so I went and I found her or I found who I thought it was. That's good form from Drunk Jake. As I well. know. Right? I was pretty <laughs> fucked up that night too. So I was thinking, okay. And then I had to hype myself up. So I had this thing going in my head. I was like, okay, this is how it's going to go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tap her on the shoulder. I'm gonna say, "Oh, this is gonna be so embarrassing if I'm wrong." But is your name such and such? Because even if it wasn't that, then I had an icebreaker. It's like, "Oh, so I just thought I really recognized you," but then I could have kept talking to her. Yeah. But it ended up being her, and I was like, "Oh shit, we follow each other on Instagram." I don't know why. And then her friend goes, "Oh, that old chestnut," <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck off! Oh, I'm not. Some, I'm serious. I'm serious." But um. So that's how we met, yeah, and yeah. then we just like chatted for 20 minutes. You guys went to the bus, and then I came afterwards. And then, yeah, she just messaged me the next day and we were just messaging. But um, I nearly didn't say anything to her because before I got a chance to do it, there was a girl standing next to me. So, it was, so like, say I'm looking at the stage. Mm. The girl that I wanted to talk to, the girl that I've been on dates with, was like I remember this to thing. the yeah. front left. Yeah. And then the, a girl directly to my left was there. And then you guys were to my right. And this girl to, <laughs> directly to my left... Um, <laughs> I just didn't want to borrow her because I was like, fuck it, for, for some reason, you fixated on... Yeah, I was fixated on... Let's say her name's Stacy. I was fixated on Stacy. Dream all girl. Right? Dream girl, Stacy. And then, um, freaking the girl next to me, Bethany, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, fucking Bethany. <laughs> I'm like, I'm dancing and then I get a tap on my shoulder and I don't know, oh man, I'm, I'm an idiot. But so she goes, hey, have you got a girlfriend? I needed to say yes yeah. because I knew where it was going. Yeah. But I was like, nah, I'm single. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, and then she goes, Oh, like, can I dance with you? Yeah. And then I just, because I was so fixated, I was replaying my script in my head of what I wanted to say to Stacy that I couldn't think of anything to say. So I just kind of went, 
uh, <laughs> that's like all I did was like, uh, no, I'm kind of dancing with my boys. And yeah, you said you were dancing with your boys. We weren't close to him. We were, we were like a solid five Bro, meters to I, his right. I was drifting because I wanted to get closer to this girl. I remember looking at him and he was like a cl- couple meters away from me. Like you couldn't notice we were his friends. <laughs> I was on my own. That's why she asked me. Yeah. And so then I just... Te- oh, the Poor wor- worst rejection ever. She would have just been like... She would have felt like shit. But then she stayed there. And I was like, well, now I can't go up and talk to this Stacey mm. because I look like a doll. I look like a fuckwit. Yeah. But then, luckily, she left. Bethany left. Bethany took an L. She took the L, left, and I got the chance to... Mm. Yeah. Which was cool, yeah. So now I've been on three dates. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm happy for you, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. But um yeah well that's a good little way to kick the kick off the episode. Mm. Also, I want to get a bit of um interaction before we actually jump into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a new segment song. Oh yeah. And I actually want to know. I might put a little clip up on Instagram or whatever if you guys like it. It's different. Mm. It's mm. meant to be more catchy. I just want to know. I'm generally with a um podcast of the people and I want yeah. I want the interaction and like cuz I'm happy to change it from to the back to the old one or whatever. Just try new things. Yeah, Audie and I, we were just thinking because we want to change setup. Like if we're doing seasons, every time we have a new season, we'll change the setup. We're thinking, do we change the song each time? And so we did this time. We found one we liked. Like yeah. we like it. Yeah. And I know it's like if we like it, then it shouldn't matter. But we do want everyone else to like it because like we kind of we make this for people yeah, to enjoy. It's, it's a minuscule thing, but like we're trying mm. to make all the small details matter. Yeah, yeah, of course. Should we just before we fully get into it, should we touch on um, the new mascot? Oh, we forgot to talk about this last episode. I've got this on my notes, Jake. The oh, last one. Oh, you've got it. You've got it. Shit. Uh, me and um, um, Jack. Uh, some would say the third member of this podcast. Not mm. really, but he is. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Everyone. People compliment about yeah. compliment him, saying, "Oh, I love your podcast," and he's claimed it a couple yeah. of times. <laughs> now we love him, but yeah. Jack and I um, have decided to adopt. Um, ado- adoption. Oh, fuck, I can't well, spit you it bought out. Bought it. Yeah, we bought it. We adopted a. Baby dog. Baby dog. A puppy. We <laughs> are, I couldn't now, spit that out. The Relatables have a little new mascot, a dingo cross, cross kelpie, kelpie named Pluto, and she is beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful, yeah. This is actually... Here we go. Another funny story how this is all adding up is, like, two days prior, Oddie was saying him and Jack were pretty keen to uh, go rescue a dog. They really wanted to rescue one. And the, and Oddie was like, do you want to do it with us? And I, and I was like, I am not getting an animal with jack i refuse <laughs> yeah dumbest thing ever and um we won't go into that and we won't go <laughs> we won't go into it but um and so then two days later it was actually my first date with this girl with stacy mm. <laughs> and um stacy's everywhere stacy's everywhere she's a massive part of my life now guys Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but um so on that date i had to go straight from there to work and Oddie messaged me that afternoon saying, I, I knew that they were going to the pound to look at dogs that day. Yeah. And um, I was like, yeah, cool. And um, Oddie messaged me saying, are you coming home before work or going straight to work? And it's just like, I thought it was weird. It's not, it's not weird for him to message me that, but it's weird for him to... Like, I know he doesn't give a fuck about me coming home or not. He doesn't... You don't care. I know you don't care. So I was like... So I was like, nah, going straight to work. Why? And then he tries to cover himself up by going, saying something like, um, I think he goes, oh, I want to know the gossip about the date. So I was like, good oh, cover up, to be fair. which is pretty good cover up. And I was like, okay, look, fair enough. He yeah. wants to know. And I was like, no, nah, I'll fill you in tomorrow. And then he goes, okay, ha, 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 ha. And then I said, did you get a dog or something? And he goes, no, we didn't. <laughs> so I go to work, come home late, go to bed. And I wake up and I wake up in the morning, kind of dozing back off to sleep. And then I hear this little cry and I just open my door and I was like, where the fuck is it? And then <laughs> this little Pluto is running out. She's adorable. Like, yeah. So cute. She's beautiful. But yeah, so we've got the uh, mascot of the potty. Just Everything's getting better, Jake. Everything's getting better. We're moving up in the world. Yeah. What can we say? But you want to jump into it? You are listening to Relatables, Season 1, Episode 2. Alright guys, so we wanted to try something a little bit new. Mm -hmm. This is kind of more aimed at, I think, well actually look, girls might like this. Guys are probably going to agree or disagree with us. So this is kind of, it's maybe more of a guy segment, but girls will enjoy it too. So this is... um, if it's good, it's going to be part one of girls that I would never talk to my mum again to get with. And it's a tough question, you know. It honestly. is a tough question because you, you got to think about it. You love your mum. Would you stop talking to your mum to get with these baddies? Yeah, the look, tough one. So we've kind of had to do some research and we've had to find some. They they're bad. They are bad, and no, yeah, they're fucking. Ooh. Do you want to go first or me? <sighs> you go first. Okay, well, good. This one is. <clears throat> 
An absolute classic. Oh. And I think it's a... You have to say yes. Oh, shit. It is from Friends, Rachel Green. Oh, oh shit. You chose a good photo too. Just, Ooh, let got, me think about this. Oh, are we talking from that age? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're so talking prime, prime Rachel Green from prime Friends. Rachel like Green. she's got stiffles in the photos. I should have got up. Oh man. Yeah. Look, I would block my mum right now. Really? For that. Ooh! <laughs> Gee, I remember watching uh, her in like you've got. I don't know when I first watched Friends, but like you've watched it like six times. Oof. With like the time I watched it when I was like 16, yeah. she yeah. is the crush of every teenage boy. Bro, I remember I was young, young at the time. And I remember being like, mom, why do I like her so much? <laughs> and she goes, because she has really nice boobs. Mom explained it to me. And I was like, yeah, I really like her boobs. I was young. Oh, she does I was have... like, yeah, I really like her boobs. So what for your mom to say? <laughs> My mom's kind of loose. Actually. She could have said like, she's, she's a she's really pretty, beautiful yeah, girl. Yeah, she's very pretty. That's oh, why you she like is her. beautiful and has nice boobs. Yeah. All right, my uh, my first one is this is um look she's quite this is Instagram fame okay <laughs> she's a bit of an up and comer you may not have heard of her yet but she's like rising up in the ranks okay I've just got okay? basics of looks all right this is this basing off looks and this is her name is Alex Earl mm. oh shit she yeah uh, off the basis of this I haven't seen her but off the basis of this photo Jake and I have very very similar taste in women as well yeah. We'll have it up on the screen too. Sorry, mum. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mum. Oh, Sorry, mum. Oh, some girls. I was talking to Jack yesterday, and that she's TikTok, not real. A TikTok came up, and I just was like, "Holy shit!" And I go, "He's like what?" And I was like, "Bro, some girls are too perfect for their own good. Mm. Oh, you know, that, that people would be too scared to talk to them. That's made in a laboratory, man. That's absurd. One hundred percent, mate. Alex Earl, yeah, and just, it's spelled A A L I X. Yeah, I'm just gonna go follow real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so we're I both... might hit her up. Maybe a good way to get in the DMs is look. I literally stopped talking to my mum for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one, um, number two for me. <laughs> I don't know if I can show this photo on there. I might have to give you another one for Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you, I think you know her. Um, this is an OnlyFans model. Oh, this is your specialty, bro. <laughs> um, oh. Hopefully, some of the listeners can relate. Yeah. <clears throat> Utah Jazz. Ooh, that's a classic Australian. Classic Australian OnlyFans. Would I stop talking to my mum for her, though? And fake titties. She's got fake boobs now. Uh, I might get a photo for Jake who can edit it up on the screen that isn't yeah. <laughs> of her only fans. <laughs> She's well known though. You're, She's you're well known. again? <laughs> oh yeah, look. Sorry, mum. <laughs> sorry, mum. Oh, it was the second look that got me. It's the second look that got me. I'm she, sorry. Oh man, she is one of a kind. Oh one. dear. Uh, All right. We've got... Um, are we just going to say yes to every single one of them? Nah, maybe not. I hope not. <laughs> okay. My last two, maybe not. Okay. All right. But okay, I've got... Um, I'm coming in with a big hitter. Okay. Right, big. This is I'm thinking an all time fave of not just young men, but men. Men or men. Okay. Around the world, okay? Fuck, I'm ready. And I'm hitting you with a Scarlet Johansson. Oh you Marvel cheeky oh, devil, you Black Widow. Oh Black Widow Ting. You know what? You know how everyone froths her in like Black Widow and shit? I'm not the what? in the scheme of things. Are you serious? Like I'm not the same. I can appreciate her beauty, obviously. I'm saying no. What? The Black Widow, yeah. What? I don't reckon. I'm not, not talking to my mum for her, eh? Oh, man. Are we, I, don't know, I reckon she's hot because she's Black Widow. Like, she's hotter. She's obviously pretty. I'm not taking that away, but oh. relationship with my mum for that? No, I'm taking mum. Shit. I knew I'm you, sorry, Scarlett. It's because you're a little Shh. Marvel nerd, but... Sorry, Scarlett. <laughs> don't <laughs> listen to him. <laughs> so, you're obviously yes? Mum, I'd never talk to you again Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. My number three, we're getting a little bit low. Like one and two, you're obviously going to say yes. I wanted mm. some controversial ones Okay, next. okay, okay. okay. My, I've kind of mixed mine up. Oh, okay, right, right. I was right, confident right. with Scarlett. This one is an Instagram model. She's in the like um, American social media thing. I think you might have seen her. Mm. She's my type. Really? You know, she's not maybe not completely your type, but she's hot. We have similar types, but we also we like to venture off. Yes, we do like own, to venture off. Our own types. Um, Charlie Jordan. Ooh, shit. You see... I remember, oh, you know what's funny is I remember the day I discovered who she was because I, on my explore page on Instagram, there was a video of her and I was like, holy shit, Oddie, look at this. And you were like, yeah, I've been following her for ages. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, yeah, that's Charlie Jordan. Yeah, <laughs> I froth. Like, it's a perfect cover cheek. I froth, but 
not enough to stop really? talking to my mum forever. Really? No, not enough. I think uh. she's like, you know, beautiful, but you know what it is? We've, she's a runner. And you like an you you're an ex athletic oh, guy. And do you reckon that's subconsciously there, yeah, right? I think so. Mm. I think she and she or well, she's also a DJ, a yeah. famous DJ. Yeah, she's got everything going for her. She's perfect, oh, man. Shit. You're just saying even better things. But I just don't. So I guess she's way hotter than Scarlett Johansson. Really? Yeah. No, I disagree. I think Scarlett Johansson has. I she's very she's like not that she has zero curvature, but Scarlett Johansson has more curvature, and I just want that little bit extra. Like she's mm. almost too. Two tone. Fuck, we're fussy. Oh, two tone. Each to their own, man. Each to their own. <laughs> but she's still perfect. I won't judge. She's still way out of my league. <laughs> but we got to remember, this is. I'm going to stop talking to my mum for yeah, this yeah. girl. All this right? is all subjective. This is like, all. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know what the word is. Yeah, hit me. All right. We'll go with. I don't know if I've ever shown you this one. This is not another Instagram. A niche one, eh? This is another niche one, and I actually like would. I would stop talking to every family member. Really? Yeah. Oh, so it's, shit. I couldn't even ask a family member how my mum's going. Oh, fuck. You know? Mm, okay. Shit. And her name is Paige Lorenz. I froth on this girl. Ooh. And I even chose one that in a dress because I know it's she's just beauty. I don't have to choose a bikini photo. You've given me one photo, Jake. It is edited, which I'm not too happy about. Is it? <laughs> yeah, her face is definitely edited. Um, oh, see, I, do, I don't even know. Does she speak English? It yes. says France. She's in France at the moment. She was just holidaying in France. Mm, I didn't, photo's she's not currently gi- in Australia. Photo's not giving me enough, Jake. Really? Yeah, do you want me to show you more? Oh, yeah. I've yeah. got millions. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I'll go to her Instagram. All right. Give me two seconds. Give me two Bear seconds. with us. Bear be with like, it. Oh, it's, already, it's right there. Look, we don't yeah. even have to edit this. Okay, because sweet. So just go start scrolling. Oh, go fuck. It. Oh, fuck. She's literally. dating a tennis player and they're in at the Australian Open right now. Jake, yep. Jake, yeah. yep. <laughs> fuck. Yep. So. What I tell you? You chose like the worst I chose, photo. I chose a modest photo. Well, you chose. I was that confident. Oh, my God. All right. Take that away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mum. Fuck. She's crazy. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, yes, definitely, definitely would. Yeah, for- sorry, mum. Yeah, I'll get her Instagram after two. <laughs> All right, number four for me. This one. Oh, she is pretty. But she's a acquired taste, I would say. Ooh, I love an acquired taste, though. I love I love saying, oh, hey, check this chick out. And someone goes, oh, I'm not really into that. But you, your heat's into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to be like over whatever. But she's blowing up at the moment for um, her scandal with Liam Hemsworth. If you know who I'm about to say. I'm pretty sure it's Liam Hemsworth. And a new song. Oh, okay. Miley Cyrus. Oh, Miley Cyrus. She's an old classic. I would definitely. I froth Miley Cyrus, eh? You do? Yeah, I froth her. I don't know. what something about her. Mm, okay, 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 okay. This because she's definitely like not like the it's an acquired taste, but there's something about her that you, I can't put my finger on. I'm not gonna lie, I think I might have got my first boner to mine. Yeah, this it might be a childhood thing or something. She's mm. like Hannah she's, Montana. Yeah, she, yeah, that's I, I what that, that might be what it was. I watched. Well, Hannah you know, Montana. Hannah Montana's only got three seasons. Really? I feel like it went for on forever. Uh, what, what? I was talking to my sister about it, and we both and she told me that, and I was like, and we both were thinking it feels like. Every time I watched an episode, it was a new episode, and I watched it every day. Yeah, so do I. Like for three years. Maybe it was like a hundred episodes season. Yeah, it must be like heaps of episodes per season. Maybe I didn't even think about Hannah Montana. Maybe that's like subconsciously. Yeah, I think she's so we hot. Grew up with her. Yeah. Yeah. And then she just gets hotter because she's like going through her like little phase of wrecking ball and shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, fuck wrecking ball with a look. Scene. So I might have to call my mom and just tell her I love her and say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would for Miley Cyrus, one hundred percent. She's a baddie. Oh yeah, baddie. Okay. Number, am I at four or five? You're four. Oh, okay. I got four. Number five is a big hitter. Okay. So, number four is also a big hitter because I'm pretty damn confident. She's very famous mm. and I'm just going with a classic Corinna Kopf. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no questions asked. Jack showed me a um, oh, leaked OnlyFans on Reddit. Oh, did he? Yeah, no questions asked. Oh. Have you not seen him? No, I haven't. Oh, okay, okay. It's, it's a- um, very... Um, I feel like this is... Oh, I just want to like point out, we're not just... This is the whole aim of the segment. It's not to like judge chicks' faces no, 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 looks no, like no, that. No. We're not. Ju- well, these girls are obviously very. Yeah, attractive. they're hundred percent out of a league. All, it's just of stuff, all fun and games. But it's all fun and games because we want to know, like, what would you do to? Um, yeah, we like, think- who would you? Who would you like? How can we have to not talk to your mum again? Pretty much, yeah. Like, girls probably have. There's a lot of guys out there. They probably maybe we should do some dudes get on the girls' levels because I was checking before and we have seventy three percent female listeners. Yeah. Well, what do you want to? Like say to do, like dudes, who, like who, like wh- what dudes we would get with? Is that what you're trying to say? Maybe not that. <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? Maybe no, we need to get a girl on. Yeah, that's probably and a better idea. Them, would you stop talking to your mum forever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, all right, yeah. We'll rephrase. We'll rephrase that one. All right, we've got one, one more each. Yeah. 
This one I can't say. Oh, did you say that? No, I didn't okay. say that. Okay. I can't say the name on here. Oh, why? I'll show you the photo and um, I can say something there. <clears throat> what? Wait, what? Okay. You, okay. You, you ready? Um, one of our good friends' oh. sisters. <laughs> Fuck off, mum. <laughs> Fuck off, mum. <laughs> Friendship with friend, done. <laughs> and fucking relationship with mum, over. Red Rover. It's no questions asked. Oh, I knew it. Oh, oh my God. I, I know it. your answer to that one too. Uh, yeah, all those five of mine. Yes, obviously. Jesus Christ. I'd move countries for that. <laughs> and you know what's funny is the people that are friends of us listening probably know who we're talking Ooh, about. Yeah, yeah, That was a big hit of that, that one. Was that was all. Oh. Oh, I told you. Okay, here we go. This is my... Last one. This is my biggest one. And you left the best till last, I will save the best till last because I have a feeling that I think even women would stop talking to their mum for this one. That makes me even better. All right. Yeah. And that's just a classic Margot Robbie. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> the Wolf Jake. of Wall Street. Jake, yes. And oh, man. Yes, Jake. Jake. <laughs> I, I thought that one was too common. I actually thought of her. Oh, did you? And I thought that's too basic because that is every... It's a yes. Everyone's going to say yes. Every man in the world. I feel like there's a certain type of girl that has... Um, because everyone has their type, but there's certain girls that just... Whoever even has a type that's not Margot Robbie, people love it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's not even like... The, just Jake, I'm going to get stuck here. <laughs> I'm, I'm in love. You're lost for words, bro. <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah. Fuck me, man. All right. But that was... Okay, that was females that we would stop talking to our mum to get with yes. part one i think we said yes to every single one except for oh no i oh, said I no to one of yours and you said no to one of mine yeah you said no to charlie jordan i said mm, no, no to, to scarlett, scarlett johansson yeah see th- there you so go look, but we do love our mums a little bit, <laughs> a little bit but um okay yeah i think that's pretty good we'll see if, if people like that we'll go part two yeah let's go All right, so last episode, I was telling everyone how I want to um, read more. Mm-hmm. And then I want to do like the 12 books. The first book I'm reading is called Atomic Habits. And when I went to get it, I actually was looking for a different book because it's like, look, I think I was saying I don't like self-development. It's not that I don't like self-development. It's just that, like I was saying, it's like kind of once you read one, they're all pretty similar. And if I was to recommend any, it's probably the subtle art of not giving a fuck just because like it's fucking sick. Yep. Kind of like... Yeah. Ticks all the boxes. I feel like a good... when I, For me to like a book, I need to not want to like put it down and because sometimes you get sick of reading. Yeah. But for, but um, that one I like didn't want to put down. But the one I'm reading right now is kind of similar. It's like I really... I've been really enjoying reading it. But so it's called Atomic Habits and it's like talks about just like a lot of really small things that you can do and over time it's it's not like instant change basically it's like just little things you can do to get better habits and they've been really cool so far but one of the things that really just like just has been stuck in my head i read it a couple of days ago is um like he explains how so you know how some people have really good self-discipline compared to some people having really bad self-discipline yep so like i i always just thought that like self-discipline was a thing that people had and it, like everyone could have it, but the people that it's are like not, a choice. yeah, it's like a choice. Like if you want to be self-disciplined, you can be, you just need to like fight the urges and like fight the cravings for certain things. Mm. But the way he explained it was, I'm trying to remember, he explained it really well. He's like, it's not necessarily that some people have better self-discipline than, than others. It's that they have more disciplined environments. Mm. So in the, in the case of say an overweight person, you could argue like up until I read this part of the book, I would have definitely argued that they lack self-discipline so if they even if they talk about wanting to lose weight but then they don't do it because you know they have this issue of like overeating and being addicted to food like bad food i would always be like they just lack self-discipline and i'd be like i basically would just cold turkey be like i have no respect for you like that because like just fucking don't you can't eat. understand that you know like, like i yeah. don't get it yeah yeah yep. but what he says is a really good way so basically it's almost like a really good tactic to quit something if you want to do it so it's um, instead of, so like say for instance, you and I, if we wanted to lose a bit of weight, we would just, just because, I don't know, we have automatically in our heads, we would just stop buying junk food mm. and just only have good food. So then even when we crave the junk food, it's just not there to have. Mm. And a lot of times, like if you think about it, do you ever, like you could walk into a room, not even be hungry, but if there's a plate of cookies there that smell delicious, you're probably going to eat one. Yep. And like, but if it's not there, you just won't even think about it. So you won't eat it. So instead of having being like really self-disciplined, 
you got to change your environment to help yourself out. So like people, I like get on the thing of losing weight. If you're trying to lose weight, the best way to do it is to just change the environment around you, and then your body, like your brain, is just gonna like do its thing. But anyways, if yeah. that makes sense. I do notice like. How could you change it? Say we have all the boys over and whatnot. I do mm. notice if we put out some snacks, mm. there's a couple of people who go to them first oh, and eat the most. Yeah. And how does someone, what, how, what does he say? Like, how does he, do you not put yourself in that situation? Well, in that situation, it's kind of tough. It's like, you kind of have to have, I'm trying to think maybe in that situation, you'd be changing everyone's environment just for one person. Yep. If that makes sense. Like, it, like also another thing is like, we we don't go out and drink much no. because we really don't put ourselves in the situation. But if we were with all our mates and we did go out for dinner and then they were all having a great time drinking, we're probably more inclined to be like, maybe we should have a couple. We don't of put ourselves in that situation but ourselves. We, but yeah. like, you know, so I've always like thought I've had good self discipline, but it's just the fact that I say no to a lot of things. Like I say no to a lot of events to go to, so I don't get the craving, and I it's like unintentional. It's like a better understanding of like where they're coming from. It's not actually their fault. It's no. what they're brought up and like the environments they've been put in. And exactly. Yeah. Has so led like to this. Growing up, maybe their parents just always had junk food in the cupboard. And that's so it's like once you see it and the way that junk food is branded is it's like a really bright package. It looks delicious on the cover. So as soon as you see it, the way that a habit works and the way that like if there's a cue, a craving and then the, the like behavior. So the act. So it's like the cue could be the smell of cookies. Then you crave them. So mm. you eat one. Yep. The cue could be... Like you see a friend drinking a beer, so you crave it and then you have one and it's instant. Like yep. you don't even realize it's happening. It's Yeah, that's sort of like, it's weird how, I think one of the factors that we work together, living together is we have a lot of similarities in that sort of like mm. aspect of habits, I guess. Yeah. But you, I'm starting to realize there's simple things that other people do that we find like weird or like that we think aren't healthy, but they've been brought up in that environment. Like a simple one that doesn't matter is our roommate Jack leaves a piece of pizza just on a plate in yeah. the fridge. Yeah, he doesn't cover it up. Which I think is disgusting. We, yeah, we both think, Audio told me the other day he was down there and he just saw it. Like, we don't, it's like, we're not judging him. No. It's just like, Audio, I mean, Audio told me that that's what Jack does. I was just thinking, oh yeah, that's a bit weird, but like, his parents probably do it. Yeah. And, like, it's probably fine. It's a really simple like analogy, but that's like the sort of bigger picture of things. You don't realize like the environment you're brought up in, mm. like, that's how um, you act in certain ways. And you're starting to realize it more than now we're developing into adults. Especially in a simple like with um, weight loss and like drinking yeah. and stuff. But it's so much deeper in like personality traits, mm. things people say, things think people do and stuff. It's yeah. really complex. And you really see people that are a product of their environments. And it's really early on, like you're a product of your early environment, yeah. you know. So someone that had lack of um, attention as a kid now, like, you know, kind of has that thing where it's like, they kind of crave attention mm. and it's because you didn't get as much as a kid it's yeah it's funny how because um we're, we just put a puppy like we said at the start mm. we're learning like the fundamentals of how important the childhood of a fucking puppy is it's st- yeah, it the is, development but- of it as being an older dog and it's going to be a good dog but it's it's, it's the same thing with a, like a baby and growing up in the environment of their parents and how they yeah. treat it and stuff mm. and it's the same as parents and we're starting to see like I was completely oblivious like through high school and shit. That's just like Jake's Jake, Oddie's Oddie. Yeah. But yeah. like now we're trying to see like it's so complex where it's coming from mm. and how the brain works and especially in relationships as well. How like we, you do that like love test and you find out whether or not you're like a um, affectionate person or you yeah. like gifts or affirmation or whatever the other ones are. It's so weird. And it stems from like I can happily... My, my parents aren't not not affectionate but i don't see him like kiss and cuddle all the time and shit no, and me I, don't, neither. I don't like that shit and i think that's probably why yeah so yeah we've noticed that we both hate so if Oddie was in a relationship he would hate it if his girlfriend really liked to like kiss and cuddle in public and i'm the same yeah. and it's because we've grown up with parents that don't do that in front of us mm. whereas someone whose parents were super lovey-dovey in front of them would be they would care a lot less yeah right? let's say they just care a lot less about some public affection that's very um kind of intuitive of me because when i've been pissed a lot of the time i've done some public yeah. of affection <laughs> <laughs> that i'm not proud of yeah that's so pretty funny <laughs> when I'm, that's when i'm drunk and i'm not thinking but if i was in, in a relationship and sober i wouldn't want to do that no 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 way but uh, <laughs> well, there's other stuff it's, it's such honestly i do highly recommend this book it's really cool there's other things you can do so other ways so you can you can change your environment or you can also say to yourself, so we have things that we do every single day. And so something like brushing your teeth, you know, maybe you wake up and you make a coffee every single day without fail. Or, you know, you have a shower every single day without fail. Or let's say you do eat a bag of chips or drink a Coke every single day without fail. 
instead of trying to tell yourself to stop doing that because you now have this, if you've done it for a long period of time, you do have a habit of doing that, like an addiction almost. And so as soon as you see the cue, so if you see a sign or if you see someone drinking a Coke, you're going to get that craving and it's really hard to resist Mm. because not everyone has that, I guess, self-discipline to resist it. And um, a really good thing to do would be like, just be like, okay, every time I eat a pack of chips, I'm going to do like 50 push-ups, something like that. So it's like your your habit stacking. You're putting a bad habit with a good habit, and then basically you're just going to get this craving to do push-ups all the time. That's so something healthy. That's so funny. Like this is not as good as like a push-up. So like every time I used to eat, eat chocolate or have a Milo before dinner, yeah. I'd eat a green apple with it. Oh, see, that's yeah, stacking a bad habit I, with a good habit. I just did that subconsciously because like I felt shit after eating just and chocolate. And then you feel good after eating an apple. What well, evens itself out? Yeah, it's that's to, funny. to an extent. <laughs> that's so that's just my brain doing its thing. So you did that when you were younger? Yeah, I've always whenever I have a Milo or like something like that or wow. a, cho- a bit of chocolate, I'll have a green apple, cut off a green apple and eat it with it. I actually thinking about that, you do do that. Yeah. You do it now still. Yeah, I've always done it. That's like my that's dinner funny. routine if I feel like a snack. You just always finish something with something healthy and makes you feel a little bit better. Yeah, exactly. Fuck, that's hilarious. It's so intriguing. I would love to do like a... I wouldn't want to be a psychologist or anything like that, but like a figure out how the brain works in like a fun roundabout way, not the complex. so interesting. Yeah. I I find it very interesting. It's all so... And it's just... I find it interesting that even in this little book, like he's... He just talks about so many... I don't know. There's just like... his, His whole life has been figuring out this and then he wrote the book and... It's so weird. It's hard to fucking like put into words. To be honest yeah. with you, it's fu- it's like you said. Um, how you like used to you would have judged one of our friends for being overweight. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. I mean, now I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's putting yourself in a good environment. Mm. You, um, Jake's been putting his phone down at nine o'clock and reading. Yeah, has been making me want to put my phone down and oh, start really? reading because I feel bad because oh, I go yeah, in my room, <laughs> I go in my room and watch a movie or some shit, or stay in the living room and watch a movie till yeah. ten and go to sleep. And I'm like, so I think if you keep doing that, it's gonna subconsciously. Because the environment I'm in, mm. going to, I, I do want to read. I'm just, I just, I struggle to do it. So there's yeah. something about me. This might push me through it. So I'm going to say thank you for that because it's putting my environment Thank even you. better. Oh, that's sick. That, hopefully it does happen. That's yeah. so good. Uh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Other than, you know how you're talking about, um, I have this thing. So I'm trying to think. The other, oh, this is like totally off topic, but we were talking about how when you're young and like your early environment affects how you, you end up when you're older. Mm. I've always, ever since, not ever since reading this book, this hasn't like done this. I've always kind of thought about this. I think I've thought about it ever since I got into working out because mm. with working out, if it's I've started to research nutrition and everything a lot more. So, I have a massive interest in it. And so, I remember I was away on just like a family weekend for a family member's birthday and I have a cousin that has twins. Mm. And um, I was asking her like, you know, I, I, I hate, it makes me sound like a gym junkie, but I was genuinely interested. I was just like, oh, do you... Like before they were born, did you have any, did you do any research of like, you know, an optimal diet for a baby? Like what is an optimal diet once they come off your breast? Like once they come off breast milk, mm-hmm. you know, like do babies actually need a certain amount of protein? Do they need more fat than protein? Like what makes a baby healthier? Yeah. And she said she didn't really do much research. She just did what the doctor suggested. But I've, I, when I have a kid, I'm a very, I don't want to say I have like OCD, but with certain things, I kind of get very meticulous with them mm. and when i have a kid i know for a fact i'm going to be doing research, well, research. there is a protein intake yeah. per kid i know i'm per going to be that, that kid's weight. diet yeah. is going to be fucking immaculate peak and yeah. when it gets to the right age it's going to be going outside every day it's going to be getting sunlight yeah. every morning and i'm setting that kid up for fucking to be the healthiest little fucker good luck with that buddy i know have fun with all the little teenage shit stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yeah. But listening, even I'm starting to realize, like listening to a doctor is not always right either. Bro, you think like they've just because they're so smart, they've done ten years, they're so much smarter than you, blah blah blah. You just yeah. think every one of their opinions right? They're not. No, I don't think they're right either. And <coughs> I, I, what I figured is, they are very, they are so quick to prescribe something because basically just at their fingertips they have this smoking gun where if you have a symptom and there's a medicine that can stop that symptom, they'll give it to you yep. because basically it's like almost paying for their job yeah. because like big pharma and all that shit. Like I'm not like saying I, I think doctors are great. You need them obviously. But like I have a, that I have a thing with my stomach where I get acid reflux and I do not know why yeah. I have zero idea why. But when I went to get it sort of sussed out, like not once was I asked what's my diet like, yeah. not once was I asked like, you know, like 
fucking what's your daily routine like like do you breathe through your nose or your mouth at night like that actually f- affects your gut microbiome is whether or not you're a nose breather or a mouth breather mm. shit like that and it's like i don't understand why they don't ask those questions and big things i find with um like anxiety and depression they they're so quick to prescribe stuff for that like if someone's feeling a little bit anxious or a little bit depressed why not ask what they do every single morning when they wake up? What do they eat every day? How often do you play video games? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Do you play sport? Because it's so... It's just they don't have yeah. time. That's why I think a family doctor... I never had really a family doctor. Is so much... A, who actually knows you. Who says, hello, Jake. Nice to see you again. Not yeah. just I book in a random guy or girl and like a couple of days prior. She's yeah. in and out. You're in and out in 15 minutes. Pay them 120 bucks yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. And they just prescribe you this stupid thing. Mm. And it's... I think it's just... A blanket statement and it comes back to no one knows you like yourself nah. and if it feels like i know you're the doctor's so much smarter and there's definitely a place for it but you need to say like is this the right thing for me when i just got like especially in depression and anxiety such a big thing and prominent in young males and females mm. like you got to say like maybe i'm there's something like a better like there's a solution rather than just numbing it with these stupid things yeah it's like give me something i can do before giving me medicine like like if you have crippling anxiety or depression obviously it's yeah. a chemical imbalance that's out of your control yeah but like there's just so much stuff like your phone time on your like like your diet everything there's so much stuff that can fix like if someone came to me saying they felt depressed or anything like that i thought look i'm not a doctor but i am 100 percent sure if you start working out or going for a walk every day you're going to feel a little bit better yeah and once you feel that little bit better you'll get motivation to do more and then you're going to feel a little bit better yeah like it's just baffles me that stuff gets prescribed so quickly oh it's it's yeah it's funny how like we're figuring out this now like mm. that these these things are like actually what like if it's like it's just what is important mm. the person in front of you like they're they're, they're just doing their job and nothing against them yeah. that's what they're told to do but deep down you know you better than anyone else and you like they get down to the root of things it's got to come from within mm. and it's such a deep underlying problem but i don't i don't think a lot of people figure out or ever figure out is like like who, yeah. like what makes you tick and stuff. Yeah, it's you gotta weird, listen eh? to yourself. People go like their whole life just like, and then ah oh, fuck, it's yeah. so weird. But mm. yeah, that's that though. Went read on a read the, the book. Read the book. What's it called? Atomic Habits by James Clear. Oh, remember how long? How long you got left on it? Halfway through. Halfway through. Mm. We might get a little synopsis at the end, eh? At the end, yeah. I'll try and I'll write some things down. Stay with us. <laughs> All right, Oddie, we got. I gave a quote last week to the people, and um, we're going to take it in turns. All yeah. right, oh, so sweet. have you got something for me? Oh, no, I'm just going to go off the top of my head, Jake. Oh, okay, <laughs> hit me with a, an Oddie original. No, nah, it's not. I saw this off a podcast, and I don't know the name, so I apologize. But the quote, nevertheless, is very good, I think. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the quote is I believe that everything happens for a reason. People change so that you can learn to let go, things go wrong so you can learn to appreciate them when they're right, and some, some things fall apart. So better things can fall together. Fuck. Yeah, that's good, eh? I have always stuck by... Mine isn't necessarily everything happens for a reason. Mine's the world has a funny way of working things out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which yeah, is pretty yeah. much the same thing. Yeah. And always... There's always light. It's such a cliche thing. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. But the reason... Like, if you're going through something, if you're breaking up with that baddie that you think is the, your world... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be another baddie around the corner. There is definitely another baddie around the if corner. If you've just lost right. your job... There's going to be a better job with more money, with better people working around you. There's always, it's just all about your mindset. Mm. And it's so important. We're, we're trying to figure out on this potty in life, like what makes me tick, like we said before. Yeah. And what, what, why things happen. And if something's happened to you that's shit, just get fucking through it. Figure out how to get through it because you're going to learn things about yourself. You might get into working out. You might read books. You might start walking. Read, read Atomic Habits. Yeah, you that might start reading Atomic Habits. You never know like what's at the other end of the corner. Just And if you get stuck in your little bubble, which is everyone does, mm. find a way out. Don't be afraid to ask for a little bit of help because everyone around you, you don't realize the family and friends that are around you. Just It's hard to do the starts they say, like, I need some help mm. or like, I'm not doing too good. But everyone around you loves you and fucking is I'm there to help. I, it reminds me of something I saw actually the other language yesterday and it's a guy is talking about so people basically sometimes people need something bad for them to happen to have a better outcome mm. so it's like if you're really good good if you're really bad it's going to motivate you to get good but if you're in the middle you're in this comfortable zone just a very like 
monotone you know you're in a relationship it's you shouldn't be in it but it's not abusive you know it's all right so i'll stay in it or it's like you should not you have a job that you shouldn't be doing because you have potential to do other stuff but look your boss isn't that much of a dick and it's all right and you get paid decent but sometimes you need that breakup or you need that something has to go wrong something needs to go wrong for you to get to a point where it's going to be way better so if you're stuck in that middle it's not really that healthy in the long run yeah one thing i always say to you is never settle yeah never fucking settle in life because Always, I know it's a human nature to always be wanting more, but know your worth and like know what makes you happy and what makes you tick and don't settle for stupid yeah. little things if that's annoying you. Quit your job. I agree. Fucking get that new girlfriend. Yeah, let's new go. New boyfriend. Go take that leap of faith. <laughs> but um, that is today's episode. We are fucking sweating balls. Wait, I'm about, I'm like... It's got to be 35 degrees in here. I'm like, uh, it's, I got droplets of sweat down low. Hopefully no one can see it. Jake's wearing a grey shirt, um, which is a I big mistake. I shouldn't have worn grey. <laughs> um, but that was related. Was I, there's a bird chirping. I'm just going to address. There's a bird chirping outside. I'm hoping I can delete a layer and it, um, you mm. can't hear it. You could even put that at the start of the episode okay. if you want. Um, there's a bird. Ch- warning, there's a little bird chirping. And I'm going to try and figure that out audio, but that's the Australian nature. Mm. And um, we can't do too much about birds chirping in and trees look, around us. We are poor. So our studio isn't in an actual studio, okay? It's not soundproof. It's, it's really hot. We need to open the doors because it's fucking boiling. It's boiling. But um, thank you, everybody, for listening. Start Five Star, that review on that shit up again. Oh, yeah, we've been hitting, getting a couple. Yeah, we've been getting a couple. We appreciate every single one of you. And we'll leave it at that. And, and uh, see you next time, eh? See you next time.